Okay, here's a trip right here. $86 with a $10 surge, so it's really a $76 trip. Hour and 57 minutes, 110 miles in one direction. Leaving the airport right here on Buckeye Road, going to Apache Trail and Main Street in Roosevelt, Arizona. I have no idea where that even is. But that means 110 miles there means you got to drive 110 miles back. 220 miles, four hours for $86. Is this something that you could see yourself taking? Not knowing if the person is going to tip you or not, all on just a hope that they'll tip you. Is this something that you would take? Looks like seven drivers checked it out and everybody was like, mm, I'm going to pass on a four hour trip tonight. So I started out my night tonight with a Lux ride. Let me go back over here real quick with the Lux ride around 917. Real quick hop, not too far. It was around the corner from my house, so it was about maybe a mile to get to them for that. So two and a half miles for about, you know, 10, 20. Took me about maybe three minutes to get to them, so it was about 10, 11 minutes. So it was about a dollar a minute is what I ran with that one. Right after that, I got an Uber ride, and it was this one right here, the $20, 23 cent ride at 9.33. Now, I tell people, I always want $20 every 30 minutes. She gave me a 358 tip. That was only a $16 ride for 31 minutes. But because of her tip, it pushed it up to that $20 every 31 minutes. So I love doing that. $20 every 30 minutes or a dollar a minute. The very next ride I had was that $6, 10 cents in 13 minutes. I'm short all over the boards, I'm short. Yeah, it pays a dollar a mile, but it's 13 minutes. Even if you did that times two, I'm only making $12 in 30 minutes. You ask, why did I take it though? because it was taking me to Scottsdale. Soon as I hit Scottsdale, first ride I got out of there was this ride. Five miles, I mean, literally, I dropped those people off right where I picked her up. So it was like no extra miles. Five miles for $11, nine minutes. So if I wanted a dollar a minute, you know, I am I got $2 extra right now. So I take those $2 extra and I apply it back to this. So now that's really $8 for 13 minutes. I'm only $5 short, so I need a $5 tip to make this little trip I took at 1016 balance out to you know what I want. So I'm hopefully somebody gives me a $5 tip, but I'm also doing the $20 every 30 minutes or a dollar a minute, because that trip right now has me in the hole as far as my calculations go. So I'm $5 in the hole with that. Hopefully I get to pull myself out. We'll see what I can do. And just as I was trying to end that video, yeah, let's go do that. Not too bad. Let's go get this money. All right. So I'm headed down to go get Brandon from Little Woody. Oh, they're going to be popping tonight. Little Woody's about to be hopping. I'm right around the corner from them. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay. So that was a pretty quick trip dropping Brandon off. Cool guy. Cool guy. Um, hopefully he'll throw me a tip or something like that. He don't have to, but we had a great conversation. Dude was pretty cool. You know, we talked tires and everything like that because I think he worked for Discount Tire because we were talking about Discount Tire quite a bit. And I use Discount Tire to help me get run flats off. I don't do run flats. But yeah, that was this quick trip right there. You know, four miles, like I said, you saw how far I was away from him, like a mile or so. So that's basically $2 a mile. Still got, you know, close to a dollar a minute. Not a, not a bad deal. I mean, $20 in about 20, 30 minutes. I'm, I'm still doing well with that trip. So we'll, we'll see if he tips or not, no problem. I'm headed back over towards Little Woody because that's where all the activity has happened. A lot of drivers were over there. So I'm gonna go back over there and see if I can get some more rides. Okay, I'm gonna sit here at Quick Trip for a minute. I've got to drop Brandon off. I'm right down the street from Little Woody, but I'm gonna scout for a while to see what's out there. I mean, I was, I've was i been on the road since what? 9, 9.15, something like that. So I made $37 on Uber, 37 on Lux. Yeah, something about almost 80 bucks. So like $74. And that's been a couple of hours, 74 bucks, not bad. So if I can pull out, you know, a 10 hour day, which is probably not gonna happen, but I should be able to do pretty well. Let's see what we got. Six bucks for Bosa Donuts. Nah, I'm cool on that. That's, that's 30 minutes of driving almost for $6. Yeah, I'm cool on that. So somebody else took that real quick. Get that off my plate. We'll see what else Uber's got. Lux, like I said, this has got Lux running in the background. 
hopefully oh let's go check this online time thing again to make sure they're not screwing with me online two hours and one minutes online oh i forgot this is uh, this is all the online time so i'm not gonna be able to see it daily uh, okay well we know that was three hours and 49 minutes so three hours and 49 minutes if i come back and it says three hours and 49 minutes then i know they got me sitting somewhere because that's two hours and two minutes so that should be adding up let me move over here Let's get to scouting a little bit. See what's going on in the capital city. Well, it's not really the capital city. I don't know what the capital of this place is. Who knows? Maybe it is Phoenix. Maybe it's Flagstaff. Who cares? We're trying to get this money. That's all that matters right now. So, screw it. Yeah, nobody's sending me anything right now. So it's kind of dead. Let's see where. And look at that, it's empty. There's no surge. It's 1121, Friday night. No surge anywhere. Well, way down there. At, yeah, we're not going that far. The other airport has a 675 surge, but I'm probably about 30, 40 miles away from there. I would say 30, 30 miles maybe. So definitely not going to get that surge. Driving 30 miles to get six bucks. Doubt it. All right, wait, we got something way up there. What is it? Oh, Cave Creek? No, Fountain Hills. That's a casino way up there. There's a casino sitting all the way up here. We Co Pie Golf Club. Yeah, okay. Yeah, something way up there. And that's not quite what we're going to be doing. So, like I said, I'm way over here. Somewhere in this area. There I am. Oh, in an uber stuff yeah yeah no nah, that's not good neither one of those are good 663 and 460 because right now i got uber eats turned on just in case i get a 20 30 dollar order i want to see it i mean you got two orders three dollars a piece right there basically so that's not happening i don't know why it won't show me new requests let's close that real quick let's get out of uber all right go back trip radar what's in here 15 bucks 35 minutes filibertos two orders eh, fuck it let's take it i don't care at this point it's slow as shit anyways you know i'm making 20 dollars every 30 minutes 15 for 35 fuck it i'll take it if they give it to me if they don't give it to me no hard feelings because i really don't want to do it but i'm not about to fucking sit here all night waiting on lux lux screwing with me and stuff like that so let's see what they say Hey, they give it to me. Damn, I'm right next door. Where the fuck? Where's Filibertos? I didn't know I was next door to Filibertos. All right. Oh, shit. That's easy. Let's do that. I love it, baby. I love it. So let me go over here real quick and grab this Filibertos. And I'll hit y'all ass up in a minute. Okay, so check this out. I'm sitting here looking at how I can see if, like, how I can get this lady's food or whatever. So I hit these three dots up in the corner and check that out. It tells me where I'm going. I never knew that. Nobody tells me anything. So I'm at Filiberto's and I gotta leave here and go to Thai Tempo and then drop off Isla, drop off Savannah. I never even saw this screen. I've been doing this for what, a couple of years now? Nobody tells me nothing. They always keeping all the information away from me. So I'm like, dude, so you hit them three dots and you can see everything. Man, I swear I'm so slow. Okay, so I'm still here at the restaurant. I'm about to leave. I've been waiting for a while, and this shit's taking too long. So I'm going to go through, and I'm going to cancel this shit somehow. I don't know how. Excessive wait time. Cancel that delivery. Fuck that. I'm not dealing with that. All right, the entire tempo is right down the street. I'm going to go get that delivery. I had to cancel that last one. I'm not fucking sitting there no longer. Damn, I pulled up and Savannah's was already ready. So I'm going to go drop Savannah's off. That's the kind of shit I like right there. Pull up and it's already ready to rock and roll. I don't like sitting in lobbies with people not even talking to me. So to that last lady, I'm sorry I had to cancel your shit, but I got better things to do. Tonight's a good night. It's Friday. It's a lot of driving. So if you guys aren't tipping your drivers, just know we will leave that shit sitting right where it is and just go to the next order because I already know. These people ain't really putting big tips on nothing any fucking way, so it's not like I'm losing much. I could be out doing Lux, be doing UberX, making money doing that shit. I don't gotta be doing deliveries. I'm only doing deliveries just to pass a little time right now so the 
you know, the busy night can start up. But I'm not sitting around fucking around with these low tip ass deliveries. No, I'm not doing that shit. And that's that's not my Friday night. So sorry, lady, about leaving your food at Filiberto's, but shit, they gotta get it together over there. They gotta get or you guys either gotta put more money so we don't gotta wait, or that we will wait, or just call that shit good. Hopefully this order pays me well. Cause I don't know what the financial breakdown is. I I still haven't figured that shit out. So if I just canceled an order that was paying me a lot. And this motherfucker right here is paying me like $2. Oh, I'm going to be so pissed. I probably won't do Uber Eats for the rest of the goddamn month. But I'll figure it out when I drop her food off. How much am I getting paid? This order looks like a meet at door. So I'm going to have to do a video recording to make sure I don't get played with all these people doing this shit. The delivery drivers. So I'm going to record me delivering this. And hopefully she don't tip bait me or try to say she didn't get the food. We'll see. Nice yard. Nice yard. Hey, hey, hey. I got food. I got grub, Savannah. Yeah, what's Here up? Here you go. What's Thank good, you so lady? Much. You're very I welcome. You, you enjoy that? I will. I'll Thanks see y'all later. You're Have best. a great Saturday, Friday <laughs> night. That's what's up. Thank All right. Oh, no problem. Yeah, pretty cool, folks. Okay, so I just finished dropping that off, and it looks like it was four forty-nine. Uh, let me go into the earnings tab here, and it was gonna come out to six ninety-three for that six dollars and ninety-three cents for seventeen minutes, seven point six miles. Uh, it was a fifteen dollar, I think. So the other lady was paying about nine bucks. So I lost nine bucks by canceling that. But I will tell you one thing, I'm done doing Uber Eats for the night because I'm not dealing with no slow shit. I'm not sitting in no restaurants dealing with people like that. You know, like I said, I can't stand with employees. Know you're there. Just say, oh, it's not ready yet. Don't give you no indication of time or anything. So fuck Uber Eats for Friday nights. I'm going to stick to my ride share Friday, Saturday night. And like I said, Savannah was cool. That lady was pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully she tips me more than $2. But like I said, she ain't obligated to. But the fact that I, you know, sped up that process so she gets her food early, you know, I think that's that's worth something, but she don't know that shit. But I'm not waiting on that other shit for sure. So Uber already on a BS right now, sending me crap like this. After they just played me on that order. Like, nah, I'm not taking that. Doubt it. Y'all better give me something that's like $15, $20 before I take anything. Y'all just wasted my time. Is it $13 for that? Nope, not enough. Not enough. I need at least 15, 20 bucks for the shit y'all pull. So if you ain't paying me a 15, 20, I ain't. Nah, I'm cool. 15 to 20 or zero. Played the shit out of me on that damn order. That pisses me off. I said, don't send me the people's food that ain't ready on a Friday night. Y'all gotta bump that price up. If people's food ain't ready, we be sitting around doing nothing. I'm not about to sit around doing nothing, waiting on food to be delivered. Five bucks. Doubt it. I don't care if it is that short of a trip. Doubt it. Ain't happening. Four dollars. Yeah, let me take that. Yeah, I'm gonna take that four dollars just because I think it's man, get the fuck out of here. Doubt it. Ain't even doing that. I'm done with damn delivery for the night. Nope, I don't care, man. I told y'all 15, 20 dollars or nothing. One of the two. 15, 20, not let me get off deliveries. Cause delivery, I'm all right, whatever, motherfucker. Delivery's done for the night. I'm not doing no more deliveries. Friday night deliveries are off. This is about ride share money now. Y'all wasted my time. Look at that. 449, 17 minutes. That pisses me off. Look at that. 17 minutes, two miles. But it wasn't no damn two miles. That was not no two miles. That was far as hell. That wasn't no damn two miles. That is not no two miles. Yeah, 7.6 miles is more like it. That's more like it, 7.6. I'm like, where the hell they get two miles from? They out they damn mind. Look at that shit. 17 minutes, 2.4 miles. Yeah, please. That shit was like eight miles. Eight miles, 449, 17 minutes. That, this trip is way below my radar on everything. It's way below anything I will ever do. This don't even... 
reach my criteria on no level of the game. Like I said, she she might just want to throw a $10 tip on that just to be make make it feel good or some shit. Cause I'm like, man, that, that played the hell out of me right there. That's why I won't do no more stacks. I think I'm done with stacks. You play me once, cool. You play me again, now nah, that's on me. That's on me if you play me again. So I ain't doing no more stacks. I'll sit here and no, forget that. I got Lux running in the background. We'll see what they do. Probably nothing. But nope. If I ain't getting 15, 20 dollars, I ain't leaving this parking lot. I'm done with Uber for the night on that BS. Played me. Like I said, I, from now on, I'm only doing single order because the last two times I've done stacked orders. So the first time was with that ice cream. And that screwed up with the ice cream. That that kind of irritated me. And now they did this. Sent me to some order that I was sitting in the damn lobby just sitting there. And it was another dude right in front of me. So they're going to have to finish his food before they finish mine. I'm like, no, nah, I'm cool. Cancel. I'm out. I'm out. So I ain't got time for that. Like I said, it's Friday night. Should be busy. Should be popping. And all they're doing is sending all these BS orders right now. Look, five people looked at that one. Ain't nobody taking that. Ain't nobody got time for that. They need to have just like a sweet brown, a sweet brown message pop across the screen every time they do orders like this. Ain't nobody got time for that. Every time. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> 467. Ain't nobody got time for that. 581. Ain't nobody got time for that. Shit. Yeah. Nope. Not even happening. Sorry, champ. Sorry, champ. Like I said, your little buddies at Uber done irritated me already. So, nah, good. 346, yeah. I'm going to just let that one time itself out. That's how I feel about that. It's like, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool on that. I said, Lux better, Lux better get on the ball. 12 bucks for that? Nope. I said, I'm sticking by my guns. And that's way up north. Nah, I'm cool. Cool on that. Like I said, if you ain't paying me $15, $20, I ain't leaving this parking spot. Ain't nobody got time but it. All right, let's see. This ain't nothing going on inside of here. Let's see, so let me get out of that. Why is this screen all jacked up? nine bucks for that nope listen i'm not moving this parking spot y'all know what i'm looking for i'm not leaving this parking spot unless y'all paying it nope doubt it no nah, that's close to 15 bucks but damn that's a long ass drive doubt it nope i don't even want that i don't want none of this shit all this is garbage to me 15 20 bucks or i ain't going nowhere Nope. I'm at that level right now. I'm at that. I'm at that Friday night. You done pissed Jeff off level. So yeah, I could care less. I don't give a fuck if that was eight dollars for that. Nope. I ain't leaving this parking spot till I get my fifteen twenty dollars. Nope. Not doing it. I don't care what y'all say. I want my fifteen twenty dollars. I ain't going nowhere. Everybody's like, man, that's good money though. That's good money. That's good. I don't give a shit. They done piss me off. So I'm going to play it my way. If I don't do nothing else tonight, I'll just take my ass home, wake up, eat me some pancakes, and do this shit again tomorrow. It ain't like I need the fucking money. I'm good on, in the bank account. I'm good. I'm trying to do this shit so I'm better off. But shit, they want to play me like an idiot. Y'all done pissed me off now. So I'm going to do what I want to do. Tonight's my night now. It's how I feel. If the money ain't there, I ain't moving this car to this parking spot. Just doubt it. I ain't doing none of that shit. Care less. I'm looking at dollar amounts first before anything else. Not even looking at the miles. I'm looking at dollar amounts. Nope. If it ain't close, I ain't touching it because you done pissed me off now. Got me going to these damn places, sitting in these damn restaurants. I don't care. Hopefully other drivers are getting these orders and hitting their bonuses and their quests and making money and doing shit. Hopefully they doing it. If I make zero tonight, that's just the type of night I'm going to have. But it's like, nah, you done, you got on my bad side with that delivery shit. That's why I probably shouldn't mix delivery when I'm trying to do, you know, busy stuff on Friday nights. Because it's like, shit like that irritates me. 
And it's, it's people. That's what it is. Like I said, if I'd have walked in and that lady would have been like, listen, we just got the order in. It's going to be like another 10, 15 minutes. I would have canceled that shit right off the bat and be like, all right, cool. Don't worry about it. Just the next person can get it. I would have, but for me to sit there watching people get food, watching people in drive through get their order, watching everything go down, and then a dude in front of me still ain't got his order and he ordered a lot. He ordered food for another driver. So he's waiting on his shit. So I'm sitting there behind him and I'm like, you know what? I've been here for too long already. This, this ain't how shit's gonna go. So I was like, fuck that, I'm out. That's why I shouldn't do delivery because people have horrible customer service skills. At least talk to us as drivers and be like, listen, we don't have your order together. It'll be another 10 minutes, 15 minutes if you want to wait. Otherwise, you can cancel it. We'll make the order for the next driver. Just be real. Keep it real with me. Keep it 100. But and me sitting in that damn lobby? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope. So I ain't doing no more delivery for the night. Probably not even for the whole weekend. Fuck that. It's like got on my bad side. I don't play that shit. And all these rides. Ain't none of them 15 to $20. This is what they doing with bullshit. Ain't none of them 15 to $20. It's a bunch of crap ass rides. Like I said, I don't care if you do $10 for one mile. I ain't taking it. Give a shit. It's because like, I know what I'm looking for. And it ain't none of these. And Lyft still running in the background doing their old janky shit, whatever they be doing. Nope. Not doing that either. Fifteen, twenty bucks, and it's got to hit my criteria, or don't even bother me. Nope, none of these. Nope, none of them. I don't care. I'll sit here all night, fucking declining everything under the sun. To my goddamn decline, says zero on that shit. He said, "What's your acceptance rate? Zero, because they piss me off." Let other drivers make that money. I don't want it. If it's six dollars for two miles, go get it. Five dollars for one mile, go get it. Cause I know what I'm looking for, and it ain't none of this shit. They're gonna have to make this up to me. Give me my fifteen, twenty dollars, and it gotta fit within my criteria, and I'll roll. Either a dollar a minute, or at least twenty dollars every thirty minutes, and I'm cool. All the rest of this shit don't mean nothing. I'm about to turn this shit off and go give me something to eat. That's what I'm about to do. Let's see. Nope. Yeah, Lyft ain't doing shit anyway, so let's just get off a of Lyft. Whoops, almost hit that. Get off a of Lyft. Alright. Is that Lyft ain't doing shit anyways? Get rid of that screen. See if she tipped me. Nope. Nope. Yeah, $20 every 30 minutes. Fuck it. Let's take it. $19 is close enough. That's my $20 every 30 minutes. But they trying to give me this shit. Look at that. I just touched the screen and they try to give me that. That's funny shit. And it says matching with that. So let's see how long that spins. Like I said, they're going to keep sending me shit because they're going to be saying matching with that. $20 in 30 minutes, I'll take it. Even though it's 26 miles, I mean, it's $20 in 30 minutes. Hopefully they give me like a $5, $10 tip. All right, let's see where we going. Where are we going? All right, we're going up right up there, picking up somebody a mile away, and then we're going to hit the road. This motherfucker better tip me, because I swear, it's not really a, it's a, a dollar below my goddamn criteria, so you better tip me at least a dollar, goddammit. Yeah, them brothers was pretty, they was pretty dope, you know. They they Nipsey fans, so we was cruising to Nipsey the whole time, man. They, they do that shit word for word. But yeah, that was that trip right there. You know, it was a $19 trip. He ended up putting a $6 tip on it for him. He said he paid 50 bucks for that trip. 50 bucks he paid. 26 minutes, 26 miles, almost $26. Man, I'm getting close to it. But at least I'm making my $20 every 30 minutes. That's what I'm talking about. $20 every 30 minutes. I hit that mark. My dollar a minute, I'm close. But just, you know what? He, he could have gave me an extra buck. <laughs> So I gotta go somewhere and find a dollar. I'm finna go knock on somebody's door, ask him if I can have a dollar real quick. No, I'm just kidding. But you know, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? He, he straight tipped me on that ride right there. You know, $6.15. That was only a $19 ride and he already paid 50. So he basically paid about 
$55, $56, $56 for that ride pretty much. And so, you know, I appreciate when people pay a lot and they still turn around and tip me because they know it was a real good ride. Like I said, we was bumping Nipsey the whole time and that, that's how I rode right there. And I'm glad they let me bump what I like because that's what I like. I like Nipsey, that's what I do. Okay, remember on that order that I did? She actually gave me a dollar extra. So I got a dollar per mile on that one. I still wish, you know, I could get like another $4 to kind of make this order worth it. Because what well, that was a $15 order for two. So basically she just cut that in half when she gave me that extra dollar. So I'm, I'm happy with what she did. Totally appreciative of what she did. She's getting me closer to my goal and that's all I can ask for. She did great by just giving me that extra dollar. I appreciate that. All right, I'm sitting in the parking lot chilling right now. I'm trying to see what rides they got coming through the pipe. But right now there's nothing but a bunch of trash coming through. Look at that, 20 miles total for 12.81. Yeah, okay. Somebody's gonna actually take that. That's what's so funny. He's gonna say another driver matched that request. Guaranteed, they gonna say some shit like that. But you're 10 miles away for a 10 mile trip, 12 bucks. Nah, doubt it. Cause that right there is about, what, 60 cents a mile, maybe, if that. What do they got coming down here? Another one, 12 miles away for $18. No, 24, man, look at this. 10 miles away for 26. Why are they sending me everything that's far away? Let me go see what Lyft is doing. Lyft is doing nothing. Made it 122 bucks on them today, but they, they've been tripping all day anyway. But yeah, every trip Uber has sent me over the past few seconds has been 10 miles away. They trying something shady right now. They trying to get me to go far away because they know here in Tempe at about 3.30, I got a trip coming up it's twenty dollars for eight miles. I'm gonna see if they pull it up in here for me. That right there, that one, twenty-one dollars for eight miles. I'm sitting right here. That's from a hotel to the airport. I'm already next to it. So three fifty in the morning. Only got, and that's basically eight miles to go to my house. So I'm a cool. So I'm trying to stay in this area right now in Mesa. And as you can see, they're trying to send me ten miles away with everything they do. They think they slick. They swear they slick. And that's, look at that Queen Creek. You know how far Queen Creek is? That's 26 miles from where I am now. So that's 10 miles plus 26. So that's 36 miles away because it's going to take me 10 miles to get to Chandler then another 26 and I get to Queen Creek. Look at that, Gilbert, Gilbert. All these are Gilbert. It's people in downtown Gilbert and downtown Chandler need rides right now, but there's no drivers down there because all night they've had surge going, crazy surge going down there, but they ain't paying nobody no money. And this is where Gilbert and Chandler is. Like, that's where I am. That's Chandler. That's Gilbert. And this is that Queen Creek way over here. So they want me to go down to Chandler, pick somebody up, and take them way over here to Queen Creek. Because they probably got somebody at that airport where that $11 surge is that needs a ride. So they're like, well, let's pay for gas to get them out there. Look at that. Six miles. No, nah, all the way out to Gilbert for 21 miles, 21 minutes out to Gilbert. No, nah, doubt it. This Gilbert is right there. That's Gilbert dead center on the screen under the 125. So you want me to end up way over there. The only way I'm gonna get to Chandler or Gilbert, the only way, 20 bucks. It's Saturday night right now. All the money's up in Scottsdale. All the money is like, here we got $10 at the airport by my house. So I could do airport by my house all night. Cause this airport way over here, I don't wanna do that. No. So I gotta go way over there for an extra dollar than what I can get by my house. No, I'm not, no, nah, that, that's not good money for me. That money's for other people that live in that area down there. That's not money for me. And that was my last trip was $18. I picked up some girls up north and brought them down south. It's 14 minutes, $18, nine miles. Cool, let's do it. But that's up in the Scottsdale area. I was coming straight down, so I brought them home real quick. What are they trying to send me now? Let's see what we got. No, 392, was that McDonald's probably? Sushi, nope. Look at that, four miles away, some sushi, $5 for that. I have no idea. Oh, hell no, hell no. That's way up there, then coming, no, I'm good on that. Nope, eight miles, and that's $1.75 included. Man, they not trying to pay nothing tonight for Surge. They ain't trying to pay nothing. So we got, 584, 849, everything I'm too far away from. Oh shit, I made a mistake and hit the button. I ain't doing that anyways. Look at that. 10 miles away and that's a 
that's at the wellness center. So that's somebody leaving the hospital right there. 13 bucks, doubt it. Yeah, I'm glad they matched that to somebody else because I made a mistake and touched the screen and it was saying matching. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm sitting right next to Waffle House. I can hear police sirens, so I'm pretty sure it's for this Waffle House right here. No, I'm just kidding. It's still going past. Man, Waffle House is pretty packed. It's like a little club up in there or something. Club Waffle. What the hell? But, yeah. Okay. So, we're not doing none of those trips. So, they, like, right where I'm sitting is nothing. I could go up to Scottsdale, get a couple of bucks, and come back down. But, man, I just don't feel like driving back up there. If I get a ride up there, let's say nine ten dollars i'll go back up to scottsdale for nine or ten bucks but it has to take me up there i'm not you know driving up there on my own gas like i said i only got one little trip to make in the morning or one little trip to take at 3 50 in the morning that's grabbing somebody to take them to the airport that's cool 21 bucks for eight miles let's do it and they'll probably give me like a five dollar tip for that cool on that but i'm sitting down here in mesa and it ain't nothing going on on either app nothing so, yeah, even down here, you can see, let's see what they got at the airport. Nothing over there at that airport. I really don't even look at lift surges that much because lift surges are full of crap. So I'm right next to Tempe. I can shoot over Tempe where that $4 is, not to get the $4, but because I know that's where the, the clubs are about to start letting out right there. And once those clubs start letting out, it's going to be a lot of short trips for like high dollar amounts. It's like two miles, $11. Three miles, $19. It's going to be crazy like that in a minute. Because like I said, it's only one fifteen, so we'll see where I'm at with Uber. Four twenty-five. Is Yeah, Uber ain't doing much right now. Let's see, what do I got? Nothing. What was that opportunity? Let's see. What do we got? Yeah. Nope. Doubt it. Come on, get out of here. Indian school to the airport. 20 bucks to the airport at 4.30. Indian school road. No, nah, that's way the hell up north. Hell no. Hell no. See that $20 for nine right there. That's Indian school road. Let's open this and take a look and see what they're talking about. Because I'll be up anyways. Uh, no, nah, that'll be from Scottsdale. I'll be at the airport. I have to drive all the way to Scottsdale. No, nah, I'm cool on that. They loud over at that place, man. They over there having a good time at the Waffle House. $10 for that? No, cool on that. Nothing else popped up. Man, forget that, that's nuts. Like I said, and Lyft ain't really throwing up nothing right now. I've been online with Lyft all day. Let's go offline. Let's leave them alone for a minute. Let's not give them the satisfaction of even knowing I'm here. I'm probably going to shoot down to Tempe over by the colleges because I got to do some stuff before that early morning ride and I don't want to leave my area. So let's do that. Let's get ready to rock. Let's go over here real quick. I'm going to head down to Tempe, see what I can drum up. It's only about three miles down the road. But yeah. Like you hit the gas, all of that tire grab, all of that tire, and it's like it's pushing, pushing. But trust me, I got a video coming out for why you shouldn't really drive this car that fast right now. I'm, I'm working on something right now. I'm working on a video to explain why. But man, this car takes off like a rocket, and it's cool. Like I said, it, it's cool to drive it that fast. But with the setup I got right now, yeah. I'm gonna try to rethink it. I can get up, you know, it, I think it's faster than what it was before and I think that's what's throwing everything off. The car is too fast for the amount of tread I got back there. So it's really throwing me right now. And I think it's throwing the car off, like the strut system, the suspension is all electronic and it's throwing everything off right now. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. But I'm headed to Tempe. I'm gonna turn this app off because they ain't throwing me no rides. So I'm gonna turn this, uh, this little recording off real quick. Okay, I'm on my way to go pick up this ride right now. It's $23. It's 
is like a six, seven mile ride. Now, how I got this ride is I was sitting on meal waiting on this $3 ride, $3.65 for one mile. Just somebody getting picked up so they can go home, I guess, from Mill Avenue, like a mile away. $3.65, one mile, I'll do it because I'm not that far from the party area. So the dude was at Zips, you know, a little sports bar. So as soon as I'm pulling up to the light, the ride comes through. I just get it. I see him sitting across the street. So I shoot him a text. Hey, I'm across the street. Rod just came through. I'm at the light. Because I'm not going to go all the way around a fucking block and do this sitting across the street, like directly across the street from me. He looks over at the car and he looks back at his phone. And so I'm sitting there for a couple of minutes. I'm just sitting there, sitting there for a couple of minutes. He never looks up from his phone. So he read my text message, saw my car sitting there. So I canceled his ass because his lip ride was pinging at the top while he's looking at his phone. So this is what I tell people. If I'm giving you a shot to get to my car and you ain't coming to my car, you need to worry about another rider who's about to pay for your ride. And Lyft sent a ride through while you should have been walking your ass to my car. I wouldn't have been able to take the Lyft ride. But you didn't get up. The lift ride came through. I canceled your ass and got the lift ride. That's how life works out. It ain't always going to benefit you to sit around on the curb looking at your phone. Sometimes you got to get up. Get up, walk over to the car and be like, hey, man, I didn't know the ride just came through. I see you sitting over here. Yeah. He sat his ass right there on the curb, looked up at the car and looked back at his phone. Shit. I'm going to get this $23 ride. Keep that $3 ride to yourself. Okay, as soon as I drop Super off, I gotta go pick up Anna now. And it's funny because before Anna, somebody else had chimed in like they needed a ride. The ride was for like maybe three miles and it was like seven bucks, something weird like that. And I was like, oh man, I got another ride, seven, you know, and I hate my app being hung up on a ride so, so minuscule in a party area. And I was like, man, this is not enough money, it's seven bucks, you know, this and that. So I was like, well, shit, I'll just drop him off real quick and hurry up. But let me see if this, so her ride came through $21 and it's North 22nd Street. And right now I'm on 40th Street. So it's only got, it'll probably be, I'll say an eight mile ride for 21 bucks. So it's going to be five miles to get to her and then maybe eight miles. So I'll say 13 miles total. 13 miles total is probably what it'll come out to be like, but we'll see because I don't know how far 22nd Street is from where she is. Cause I just, I missed that whole thing. They just threw the fucking ride on there. So it could be eight miles. It could be five miles. I don't know, but I'm just, I'm estimating 13 miles total, but I know it was five miles to get to her. And that's all I need to know for right now. Oh, I just dropped off Anna and I got to go get Jessica, but check this out. I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to record something for you. Wait till you see this. There's a dead body right around the corner from where I am right now. Check this out. All right, wait, when all these lights die down and everything, you'll see there's like a dead body over here laying in the sidewalk. Ooh, and there's a lady out there and everything. Up, uh, I think this is it here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was it right there. They strapped the person to something. So I guess they weren't dead, but they were laying in the sidewalk like kind of upside down or whatever. And the homeowner standing out there now, but they were just laying in the sidewalk, looked like a dead body. But they just strapped him to a chair and they got him going. I don't know if he's dead or if he's alive, but I think he's alive. Okay, so this is crazy. I've been doing airport runs all morning, sitting on a 950 bonus on the third ride of my streak. So the next ride will be a plus six on that. Uh, I've been jamming all morning, jamming. That was my last airport ride right there. I mean, it was real quick. It was right up the street from the airport at the hotel. Came around the corner, got him out the way. That was my guy. He was an airline mechanic. Cool kid right here. Gave me a twenty. Gave me a ten dollar tip. Picked him up from South Phoenix. Shot him to the highway. I was only maybe about what ten minutes away from him to go get him. So I had to go pick him up. So I was about ten minutes away, which is about you know nine ten miles. So that's about twenty miles for forty one dollars. I know it says ten point three five, but I was already like ten minutes from him. So it was about 25 minutes, uh, 20 miles away. I mean, 10 miles away, got him for 41 bucks. He took, excuse me, he took care of me on that tip. I mean, another guy, this one right here, another airport ride real quick. No, was that an airport? No, that wasn't an airport. That was something else. 
All right, that was just somebody from up down, uh, up north that had to take. Oh, that was the two ladies I took. Cool ladies, hilarious. They were pure comedy. So I got them home down to South Phoenix. Man, where's my airport ride at? There was another airport I did. Was it that one? Was it this one, 144? Maybe it was this one. Yeah, that one. No, that wasn't even it. No, it was on Uber, my bad. Hold up, I'm, like I said, I've been doing some crazy driving right now. It was an Uber airport because it was a reservation and the guy was from Florida, pretty cool guy. And he actually tipped me like, you know, 20 bucks. So there we go right there. That was that quick $21. It was seven miles away, 21 bucks. That was a scheduled ride. So I picked him up right at the edge of Mesa, got him to the airport real quick. And it was, it's been some pretty easy days. So for Saturday, I made $108, about four hours I was online scouting with them. So what, $108 on Lyft on Saturday, I ended up making 263. So about 370 bucks so far, about 370 plus with the tips, you know, I'm probably close to, oh, I'm over 400. Yeah, I'm over $400 for the day so far. And like I said, my online hours ain't too bad. They're not too bad. Six hours online, almost seven hours online, for 460, so about 60 bucks an hour of driving. But it took me 13 hours to get that, you know, scouting, screwing around with them, like, you know, freezing up the, like right now, I'm online right now, but they're not giving me that last ride. This is the kind of crap they pull. Cause like I said, I'm sitting right now pretty. I'm sitting on a, you know, 950 bonus. All I need is one more ride to get that $18. I might just go north to get that 1150 because they ain't gonna give me nothing anyways. So I might as well just cruise around, go up the street, go to Quick Trip, get me something to drink. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna go to Quick Trip real quick. Give me something to drink. Cause they ain't gonna give me nothing anyway. So let me cruise. Oh, that'll give me a little extra time. Cause I am pretty thirsty because I ran out of my, my juice. So I gotta go buy me another juice real quick. Uh, let's see. Where's the closest quick trip or circle K? Where am I at? 7th Street? Oh shit, I could just go behind me. Let's do that. Let this car pass. Time to U turn. Let's go, baby. All right, I just did the U turn in the middle of the damn street. That's why I love driving this time of day. I did a U turn in the middle of 7th Street. You can't do that, but I just did it. Ain't nobody out anyways. So let me go down here and hurry up and get me a soda or a uh, juice, because Lyft ain't sending me nothing. I ain't worried about Lyft. Lyft ain't sending me nothing right now. They just out here irritating me. Like I said, I'm sitting on too much money for them to do anything. Look at that, everything's kind of dropping, going back down. What time, 4.50 in the morning? Yeah, I think they're done. So I'll probably get this last, I might turn lift on just to get it out the way. Cause like I said, I got a 950 bonus, $18. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. It's kind of iffy, cause I know if I turn on lift, they're gonna send me way out the Buckeye to bring somebody all the way back to the airport. Buckeye's about 30 miles that way, which will take me about 45 minutes to get to them, 45 minutes back, about an hour and a half driving. They'll probably get for an hour and a half, they might give me $40 if I choose lift, $40. And that's probably with that 950 bonus on it. Maybe 50. Hour and a half driving for 50 bucks. And if I turn on Lyft. So I'm just going to leave it on Lux. Because I ain't, yeah, I'm not going out the Buckeye. Forget that shit. Well, here we are. Man, what is this, 7th Street? Yeah, 7th Street. So I'm going to go over to this uh, Circle K. Get me a juice out of here real quick. I'll take the phone in with me. I'm not going to be recording and stuff like that, but I'll take the phone in with me because definitely if they send me something, I don't want to miss it. But, yeah, they probably won't. What gas is at 45? How much gas I got? Yeah, I got a little more than a quarter of a tank. So I might just pull up to this pump. Go ahead and fill my tank up before I go home anyways. I'm down to about a little more than a quarter. Uh, let's see. Yeah. They're doing good over here on gas, so. Since I got 121 miles still empty, I'm out. There we go, I got about 121 miles still empty. So I drove, I had a full tank when I started so far today. So I drove, made almost, what, 400 bucks off about 280 miles of fuel. So not too bad, not too bad. 
All right, there we go. We filled up 418 miles till empty. I still ain't got that surge yet. You know, the surge in my last ride ain't hit yet. I'm so nervous that I'm going to have to jump over to goddamn lift, and I don't want to do that. Here we go again with the throttling. It's 512. Still got a full ticket gas. I ain't got a ride yet. They ain't gave me nothing. That last ride, I got that 950 plus that $18 streak. They, they scared. As that's twenty seven dollars. They about to add to some ride. I guarantee they give me something about an hour away. Say, hey Jeff, go pick up somebody in Vegas and drop them off at the grocery store for thirty dollars. I'm telling you, man, they they coming up with a plan to make me decline this next ride. I could just feel it. I could feel it. Okay, so what I just did is turned it to regular rides, and I got a regular ride to the airport, sixteen fifty, including the bonus. Now I think it's about a seven mile trip. So a seven miles for seven dollars plus the 950 gives me the 1650 plus the 18 dollars. I'll know what it says once I end this ride. So I had to use a regular lift to get my ass to the airport. I'm done after this. Hey, I'm done. That little ride was quick. 34.98. That was a quick hop right there. Like I said, because of my 18 dollar bonus. Look at that. Bam. It was only nine miles. That's basically all it was was nine miles. So they gave me $7 for nine miles, and I was only like maybe a mile away from them when I got it. So I think it was probably about nine, 10 miles for seven bucks. And then they ended up, you know, throwing that 950 bonus on there. So it was 748, then they added that 950 on there. Look at that. They, they pushed me all morning, pushed me all morning to get that. And that's what's, got me going right there the fact that they had me go all morning for a lift ride and then check this out so as soon as after my lift i dropped him off they already had me lined up with a lady named virginia i had to pick her up at the greyhound bus station right after the airport to take her out to avondale which avondale is probably about i don't know 20 miles down the highway for 15 dollars it was on lift $15. So I canceled that shit and turned the app off. I'm going home right now. All I wanted was one ride on Lyft. That's why I turned Lyft off. They do stuff like that all the time. I was going to have to take that lady to Avondale, which is 20 miles away. Then I'm turning around and come 20 miles back home. So that's going to be 40 miles for $15 they was about to have me do. I canceled that shit real quick. It calculated my little Lyft ride right here. Shit, I'm going home. I'm done. I'm done.